Hi, this is Lou, and in today's video I'm going to be making some beautiful painted Christmas decorations. So for today's project I've got some ceramic baubles. Uh, these are plain blank ones that you can paint and decorate and do whatever you like with. And then I just looked around to see what I've got already that I can decorate these with. So I haven't gone out and bought anything new for this. I just wanted to create like a little colour palette and then see what I had that fitted that colour palette. So I'm starting with black and white. So I've got some black paint. Um, these are acrylic paints, but they're really cheap. They're like crafters paints. Um, so I've got a black. Um, I've got like a neutral kind of buff colour and I thought that could work quite nicely. And then I wanted some like highlight colours as well. So I've got an olive green and a gold as well. And then I've got some Posca pens in black and white. These come in different sizes. They're acrylic paint pens. So they give you a really nice kind of opaque finish. Uh, I've got some black and white and then to use with the acrylic paints, I've got some cheap paint brushes. Um, I haven't spent a lot on these because uh, acrylic can kind of really gunk your paint brushes up. Um, it's really important to wash them as soon as you've finished uh, using them so you can get the uh, most of the acrylic out. Uh, but, um, but yeah, you don't want to be using really good paint brushes for this project. And then I make a lot of screen prints with gold leaf. Um, so I've got lots of little bits like extra left over. So I thought they could be fun to use as well. The way that you apply that is with an acrylic size. So I've got a little pot of that. Um, this is, it's like a glue, but it never really dries down properly. So it always stays a little bit tacky. So I've got a little bit of that and some gold leaf and I think I'm gonna have a play with those as well. I've also got a, uh, a cardboard tube because it's really useful. to have something to rest your bauble on while you're either painting it or leaving it to dry. So I can paint part of it and then rest it on there and it's not gonna roll around on the table. So I'm gonna cut myself a few of these as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my baubles and I'm gonna paint them all over in a solid color. So two of them, I'm gonna leave white Two of them I'm going to paint black, and then two of them I'm going to paint that kind of sandstone colour. So I've taken the twine out of the baubles because I don't want to get any paint on them, but I can add that back in later. I've squeezed out a little bit of paint onto my palette, which is just a blank piece of card in this case. And then I'm using the biggest of my uh, acrylic paint brushes just to add a nice even coat all over the baubles. I found with the black, the paint was really thick and opaque and it only needed one coat. And the uh, the other colour needed a couple of coats, but it did cover quite nicely once I'd got those two coats on. I started by just painting one side uh, and then leaving it to dry, turning it over and then painting the second side. And then I had to decide how I was going to decorate them. So some of them I thought would be really good with just some simple mark making. So I took one of the white baubles, just plain like it came out of the packet, and used my uh, thicker Posca marker pen and made some little scribbles on it. Just some simple little marks. You could use uh, some black acrylic paint and uh, a little paintbrush and get exactly the same effect. I wanted to make sure that my little marks were evenly distributed. Um, so I started at the top, worked my way round, and then kind of added little rows of them 
uh, down to, well, just over halfway. You could go all the way to the bottom with this, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to add some gold leaf and I thought that the bottom of the bauble would be the easiest place to add that. So I uh, just made the pattern go down just past halfway. And then I repeated the process, this time using a white pen and one of the black baubles. And again, you could do this with some white paint and a paintbrush if you wanted to. Again, I wanted to do some simple marks, so I decided just to do some open circles. Again, start at the top, work my way around, try and make sure they're like relatively evenly spaced, and try and keep the circles roughly the same size all over the bauble. And again, I work down to, well, just, just past halfway. And then for the first of the neutral coloured baubles, I decided that I would just do a little row of triangles all the way around the centre. Um, so I worked out in one direction, uh, trying to make them evenly spaced and trying to keep them roughly straight. So roughly around the centre, the widest part of the bauble. And I keep turning the bauble just to make sure that I've got the triangles at the right kind of height and they're the same height all the way around the bauble. For my second white bauble, I want to try something a little bit more complicated. And if you think that you'd like to practice this on a piece of paper first, then you can. But I'm going straight in with this one and drawing straight onto the bauble. I'm going to do some little clusters of holly leaves. So I'm drawing each leaf with a series of little curves. Just swoosh, 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 and out to a point. And then go back up the other side of the leaf, swoosh, 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 three or four or even five on each side of the leaf. And then I want my leaves to be in a cluster. So I do two or three together with the points pointing towards each other in the center. And I'm just gonna go all around the bauble, filling it in with little clusters of holly leaves. Trying to make sure that my clusters are nice and evenly spaced all around the bauble and I don't leave any big gaps. For my final two baubles, I wanted to paint some different types of green leaves on them. And I thought it'd be really useful to practice my leaves first. So I've got a couple of little offcuts of black card that I'm practicing on. And the first leaf that I'm going to do is mistletoe. For each sprig of mistletoe, it's got a little stem, and then it's got two slightly curving, slightly oval shaped leaves. And then when my green acrylic paint is dry, I'm going to go in with my Posca pen. And again, you could use some white acrylic paint for this if you wanted to. And I'm just adding in two or three little berries at the point where each of the leaves uh, converges. So now I've practiced that, it's time to do it actually on a bauble. So I'm painting in green on one of my black baubles and I'm just going to use that same simple mistletoe leaf pattern all the way around. And I'm going to have them pointing in different directions so it looks like they're just kind of scattered all over the bauble nice and evenly. I'm doing each one pretty much the same, but I get better at painting them as I get further on, as I get more experienced. But each one's a little stem and then two kind of curving leaves. And then in places the green paints, uh, it's not as strong as I'd like it, so I go over it with a second coat, just to make the leaves stand out a bit more. So for my final bauble, I want a slightly more complicated leaf, and I'm not quite sure what kind of leaf this is, I've just made it up. So each one consists of pairs of leaves on a stem. So I start by drawing the leaf at the end of the stem and it's nice and rounded at the end. And then it comes down to a point where it meets the stem and I'm using my brush, not putting very much pressure on it to try and get a right, really nice fine line. 
And this can be quite tricky with acrylic paint because it's quite gloopy. But that's why practicing can be really useful. And then I'm doing pairs of curved leaves down the stem. And you could alternate them down the stem so they have one on the right and one on the left. Um, but I've decided to kind of join them to the stem at the same place for this one. And once you've practiced it, it's then time to do it on the bauble. And again, I'm placing these randomly and they're facing in all sorts of different directions. I'm just working my way around the bauble and adding in the leaves. You might find it's really helpful with these to do half and then wait for it to dry and then you can turn it over and do the other half. So now I'm going to go back over some of those baubles now that paint's all dry and add in some little details. So first of all, the one with the mistletoe, I'm using my white Posca pen and adding in berries onto each of the stems of mistletoe. And then the one with the sprigs of leaves on it, I decide that actually the green and the sand colour blend in a little bit too much together. So I want to emphasise that a little bit more. So I decide to outline it with a Posca pen. Now you could use the black or you could use the white, it's up to you. Um, I've decided to go for the white and I'm just going over the stem and around each of the leaves and then doing a little swoosh up the centre of the leaves. I want to add a little bit of sparkle onto some of these. So I'm going to take the bauble that I painted the holly on and I've got some lovely gold paint that I'm going to add some berries with. So I'm just blobbing it on quite thickly because I want it to be really nice and opaque and nice and shiny. And then I take a little bit of that extra gold paint and I add some of the same little dots to the leafy bauble that I painted as well, just to give it a little bit of extra bling. Then I've got three baubles that I did the simple mark making on and I want to add gold leaf to them. So you can choose whatever area you like. Um, I've decided to do the bottoms of each of the baubles. And I've decided that I want a line uh, around the baubles uh, and above the line won't be any gold leaf and below the line will be gold leaf. So in order to get quite a crisp line, I'm using some masking tape. I like to tear off strips of the masking tape and then stick them to my table first. And that takes off some of the extra stick so that when I pull the masking tape off, it doesn't take so much of the paint with it. So for each of these baubles, I'm adding the masking tape uh, in a ring around it and then pressing down on the bottom edge. When that's all in place, I turn them upside down and I coat the whole of the bottom with the size. When the size is dry, it's still tacky. So you can still, like if you put your finger on it, it'll stick to it a little bit. But you'll be able to tell that it's dry because it won't be white anymore. It'll, be, it'll have gone transparent. Now, if you've got gold leaf in sheets, which is actually how mine came before I used it, then you can uh, just wrap the sheet around the bottom of each bauble. But um, I've got all of these little bits of excess, which I've saved from other projects, and I keep them in a little tub. So I'm just going to dip my bauble in and allow the gold leaf to stick to it. And then using a clean, dry paintbrush, I just take off the excess can take a little bit of time to get all of the little flakes of gold leaf uh, back into the pot. But just keep going. Mm -hmm. 
So that's it. All of my baubles are decorated, so now I can just add the twine back into the tops and find somewhere pretty to hang them. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. If you give it a go, I'd love to see your version of it. You can find me over on Instagram at Lou Rachel Davis, and I love it when you tag me in your posts of uh, projects that you've made. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more from me, then do subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.